another step forward. Friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? It certainly looks that way, but inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. They have the audacity to call that hole a crash, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hogwash, of course. A Githyanki can no more rise above its nature than gnomes can fly. you could help me then. I may not be welcome there, but surely a person with your charm and worldliness could get into the creche. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. You'd have become rather rich had you the proper sense. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. Moving ahead.
step carefully. There's a trap. Be wary. This place is trapped. Careful. There are traps about. might be useful. <clears throat> These cragged hills meant for weary souls. If we continue this way, we may get too close for comfort. It's like using magic around these things is more trouble than it's worth. I can't afford to fail. Off I go. Better get to 
agua. No lovers of magic. Better watch where I cast. I'll catch a break.
time to waste. Heading there. Pawn to Cleric 4. No holding back. Best be on my way. Someone cry.
step. forward. Seems simple enough. What's hiding here?
That will fit in my pack. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Dawnmaster Vasaid. The weapon stopped glowing. Dawnmaster oh, Welkin God. Glory. Hmm. Dawnmaster Seed. Dawnmaster Stockhold.
Hmm, what's that? path lies before me. What comes now? On I go. A wizard, not a cat burglar. May it please, Mistra. Be on my way. Let's see what this does. All right, time to skulk about. Have to keep going.
moving. to rest. to live in more interesting times. Time to press ahead.
Eagle seems satisfied, but keeps a watchful eye on you. Don't waste a step. Open up. Looks like a Githyan key, if the armor is anything to go by. for more.
On it. Let's go. on my feet. Something good here, I hope. I'm 
ready. Whatever it takes. Better take a peek. The blood of Lathander might be important if it's still around. Looking ahead, never wanted the easy path.
No traps, please. So the Gith Yankee was one of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Better not be cursed. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster, from Death, Life. Statues are never a good sign. Maybe I need more pockets. Open up.
sharp as ever. The step forward. Wonder what's past this. Whatever it takes. Onward. Light on my feet. Seems simple enough. Sentries to arms! Istic, state your purpose quickly! What are you doing? 
You've talked to one of our Queen's Silver Knights and hold the lost weapon. Prove it, Istik. If you are lying, it'll be a painful death. The Inquisitor is deeper in the crash. Report to the captain. She will take you to the Inquisitor. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? Anistic? But... But you can't be here! I can't be seen with you! That's your cry! Quani Rel! The Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. See? I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's in her quarters. Through those doors. Blood, rust, squall? Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. Most metals here fold like Istix, much like Istix themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. Well, I was. Good job, baby. My life is infinitely better here watching this back door. I'm not letting you bring me down. The kid rack will appreciate me eventually. You've been caught in the act. So much for the perfect crime. With your prize discarded, the matter can rest.
curse to put my hands on everything. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. She certainly looks a little less regal now. Jack, shall we play with the Istic? Yeah, let's play. You lose, Kachoki. <laughs> Go play by yourself. Aim, breathe. What do you want now? You did. And we ignored you. Fine. If you're going to be a big baby about it. A big ugly baby. Open it up then. It's all yours. With a flick of the wrist. So, Githyanki sleep in beds too. How conventional.
Is Stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. Amusing. You may speak to the Vash if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Approach the egg, Istik. It is strictly forbidden. This hatchery is a place of solemn duty and care. No one approaches an egg without my permission. Still, I suppose a guest in our crash can be allowed some understanding. What brings you to my hatchery? Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Despite being the last of my clutch to hatch, almost drowned me in the hatching pool. You! What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here... Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? Do you think the Sword Coast is littered with creches? That you found this one was unlikely enough. But, you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here, take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. forward. Be wary. This place. 
place is trapped. an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. The egg is warm to the touch, the rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. Seems like a good moment to talk. Shocky, why do you keep hesitating? My instructions were clear. Because... Because they don't make sense. Killing each other like this... It's stupid. Or for you... Silence! It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? As instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> Go at the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a gake's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield, Istik. You are well on your way to being... 
What is it? These insufferable interruptions are distracting from my lessons. My students earn the most silver swords of any crash under Vlakith's command. Their potential may not be apparent to your untrained eye, but my methods never fail to extract it. It is up to them to deliver on this potential. They know the punishment if they fail. Gate have six major arteries. No, wait, seven. Stop distracting me. I have to learn this or the Savash will get angry. Again. Mercy is death. Death is mercy. This is Blackith. Zvash Kesk won't let us do anything fun till we pass this test. I just want to learn how to crush someone's brain with my mind. Splat! Whipper! A gig would have smeared you across the floor by now. That was amazing. Uh, I've never seen someone talk the Savage down from a rage like that. He's always telling us how we have to be ruthless, that death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... you showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... Never mind. I speak of... Of Orpheus, the true prince. He's so strong and and wise, and he rides a comet. A comet! We're forbidden to talk about him. They say Vlakith knows if you even think his name. I found his book. Part of it anyway. I read it all the time. He's unbelievable. A group of warriors came, outsiders, on a mission for Vlakith herself. Savash Kethk made us clean their armor, and I found it inside one of the breastplates. Wish I knew who it belonged to. I have so many questions. Hopefully, one day I'll find them. You want... but I... I... I Fine. Take it. It's so stupid, we can't read it. It's just a story. It's not even true. I'll do my best to forget what it said. Thank you for taking it. Mercy is death. Savage Kesk is a wonderful teacher. He'd happily help you improve your technique, Istik. Savage Kesk always said this plane was full of weaklings. <laughs> Wonder if the gods are watching me. is death. Death is mercy. This is Blackith's will. Outsiders aren't supposed to see us training. You... you should leave!
Slash! Slash! Unless you want to be set up as target practice, I suggest you leave, Istic. site nearby. You should take a closer look. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? be desperate to seek my aid. Tell me, how long have you been infected? Fascinating. So you're conscious of your infection, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Sathisk. I will ensure you are cured. The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly now. Time is of the essence. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. You feel your parasite stir. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathis for curing unwanted afflictions. It's only a horrific machine of unspeakable form. What's the worst that could happen? Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Agony.
through waves of torment, you search for the parasite's lurking presence. The device searches too. You sense its hunger, its craving. It wants the temple. Maybe something more. That's it. Ignore the pain. Think of the tadpole. Think of it purged. This cure looks set to kill you. Get out! The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. yearns for the creature, for every part of you tainted by its presence. You will be consumed. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Rotten. No. No more! into the tadpole's putrid magic. Its strength multiplied. It unleashes on the machine. The two forces fuse violently together, your brain their conduit. Your body and mind drift apart. You are being undone. The room swims back into focus. Your mind is intact, yet unfamiliar. Inside it, the temple <laughs> lives on, and you feel different. No! No! The save disc! What have you done? My life's work! Gone! And yet you live! And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. It lives, she wants it. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, your problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. Incredible. Your parasite is even stronger now. Smoke rises like hot breath, but whatever semblance of life once powered the Zaethisk is gone. On my way. Business have you in a crash dormitory, Istik? Move along.
Here we go. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the Astral Prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. One of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? I have business. One day, I'll catch a break. Before me. A thief's been emptying pockets around here. You might want to allay some suspicions before things get out of hand. been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Who would be? Oh, it is you. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Breathe deep and move. Anything of use? This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Indeed. This place makes my skin crawl. No. It makes it run full pelt. Do you think this Inquisitor person is really going to help us? It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. for more.
Please, approach. We have much to discuss. Her patience is not. Approach. Seems like a good moment to talk. Your presence here is tolerated. Do not confuse it for being welcome. Is this it? Seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic. She starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism like jams stuck. The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Here we go. If thou readst this, trespasser, turn back, lest your life be forfeit.
Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Now. Moving ahead. Well-guarded treasure. Looks powerful. Curse to put my hands on everything.
these things have stayed interesting. Best be on my way. Very well. The Chakra is expecting you. An invitation to speak with the Chikrai? You are honored. Interesting. My Ardents reported that an Istik survived the crashed Geik slave vessel. You have accomplished much since. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geik ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. What makes you think we are not? We are talking about the grand design, the restoration of the Illithid Empire. There is nothing of greater importance. But the weapon is the solution. I have heard it directly from Queen Vlacketh herself. It is how we will stop the Mind Flayers before they destroy us all. Hand it over. The grand design is what all Geek seek. The restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries there, Elder Brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. Wants, needs, choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. Then your illustrious adventure ends here. Hitazif! Crash, Yilik! With me!
Slow down. Impressive resistance, but you...
time to press ahead. I see yeah. they burn. Finding my way. Your life 
is over. Tremor, Salah, Blackie. Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are impressed. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? And you just happen to stumble on the astral prison. Hmm. Hmm. At least you brought it back. It is a start. We will test you to assess whether you deserve reward or punishment. Astral prison. It is corrupted. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Find the one inside and kill them. Be aware. They are not alone and they will appeal to your trust. They are not to be believed. You must accept. Refuse and know my fury. Perhaps I misheard. You would not speak ill of a god, would you? I think she's the type who hears no very often. To own something is to know it. You know nothing of what you carry. The astral prison. It is corrupted. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design. Sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Find the one inside and kill him. Be aware. They are not alone and they will appeal to your trust. They are not to be believed. You must accept. Refuse and know my fury. You are being lied to! I will be obeyed! Is that so? Use this to enter the prism or deny me. The choice is yours, but know this, my wrath is carried with each of my faithful, it will find you!
Let's see what this does. Timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold, a pocket of astral plane. It's quite beautiful. No dangerous things often are. In spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. Mm. 
I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? You are a worthy ally. I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Vlakith. Since then, she has become desperate. Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Vlakith will be furious, to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. I did warn you not to come here. But that curious streak of yours has brought us this far. I believe you will overcome this too. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire Kresh stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. You're back. What happened in there?
going. Time for mercy. The pride of the gate. And I'm off. Wanted the easy path. What's hiding here? Haste.
better make kill soon. It will be a while before there's a chance to rescue. Finding my way. Of fools these mortals be. Indeed. Have to keep going. Where do I go from here? These boots have seen everything. Survival is all that matters. My way. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. steps at a time.
five. Soul is in good hands.
Breathe deep and move. Worth a try. I'll catch a break.
swift as my feet can carry me. me yet. <laughs> no one stopped me yet. Need to find a way forward. <laughs> What's inside? their chances. Step by step. Need to find a way forward. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't waste a step. Ready. Unseen. Off I go.
Found my mom. This 
Castle, no time to waste. No time for Danny. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Let's finish this. Elminster's not around, so might as well. My pleasure. Two steps at a time. my luck again. Good here, I hope. I'll take that. as my feet can carry me.
hoist.
I'm ready. Bleed for me. Time to press ahead. Etali! Perish by my hand, Istak! With haste. This ends well. These boots have seen everything. Let's do this. <laughs> On my way. This is my time. I know just what to do. Of 
course. One day, I'll catch a break. Demon! forward.
on the move. to waste. lies before me. Well, 
Titanium here! Too close. Tim. Can't slow down. Seems simple enough. Always room for more. 